Welcome to Artville at Home. Today, we're making an amphibian. Do you know what an amphibian is? It's something that lives in the water and on land, but they're a little different from reptiles. Now, in Artville at Home, we have made a mammal. A pangolin is a mammal. There's our friend, the pangolin. That's a mammal. And we have made Jake the snake. Remember we made Jake the snake? What kind of animal is a snake? It's a reptile, right? Reptiles. And I don't know if you've made it yet, but you might. We made a chicken, which is a bird. Now today, oh, and we've made many dragons. I think a dragon is everything. I don't really know. So today we're going to make an amphibian, and it's going to be a pop-up amphibian, but kind of in a different way. Um, you're going to actually start with a heavy piece of cardboard. This is the kind of cardboard you get from a box. It's a little heavier than our lightweight cardboard. And on that cardboard, you're going to draw a big lily pad. So your frog has a good place to live. I made a big lily pad and I colored it and painted it, and I think I'll cut it out a little bit later, okay? Now your frog, your amphibian, I'm gonna make on the back of this cut up cereal box, okay? Our good friend, the cereal box. In the middle of this cereal box, I'm gonna draw an egg. Just a big egg. Big oval shaped egg. I'm gonna put my eyes here here. Ooh, it's a Cheerio eye. He has a nose and he's got a long tongue. You can make it how you want to. Now his legs come down in a curve right by You want big legs and you want big feet for this project. Big feet and it goes back up. Over here another leg. It's kind of a curve. Big feet and it goes back up like that. So he's got two arms, just like you do. Now he's got some legs, and they're gonna go from the back. Same kind of a thing, a curve. It's like the letter C, now that I think of it. He's got a foot, and there's another leg. He's got powerful legs, because a frog, you know, is a great jumper. So there's his legs. He's a big, powerful frog. Now, if you look at some of the other slides that I showed, if you're a seesaw person, you know that frogs are covered. They have, some of them have amazing, beautiful, incredible designs. So take some time to color some designs on your frog. Black works out pretty good for that. You can use any colors you want to. You're gonna color all kinds of designs on your frog. This frog is gonna be gorgeous as well as fun. So I'm going to make some designs on my frog all over. I always like to make his eyes pop out. I like white for that, but you can pick different colors. So see how the white pops out of his eyes. And then you're going to color your frog. And I would say you can color it however you want to color it, but my idea is to make it different from the lily pad. My lily pad is this nice green, so I want my frog to pop out you can pick other colors for your frog. You can color it with crayons. You can paint it if you want to. You can glue sparkly things on it. You can make your frog as fancy as you want to. Because this is a frog and it's an art frog. So you can make it how you want to make it. I'm doing a lot of purple on that frog. You can find some other colors that you like. And just color that thing. Make it bright and beautiful. Amara, you'll be good at this. And all my friends out there, Beckett, I can't wait to see your frog. And Henry, Ella, I know you're going to make a dynamite jumping frog. So I'm going to color it. Now I'm going to do a little fast forward because you're going to color your frog and you're going to cut it out. But you don't really need to see me do all that cutting, do you? So here's my other frog that I made. You can see I did a little painting, a little coloring on it. Oh, now I should cut out my lily pad a little bit. I think it would look cooler if I cut it out. Now, even though this is a strong cardboard, it's 
still not a pink project cut. Okay, now I'm going to get to see you cut out this lily pad. Oh, I made a little bite in it like this because sometimes lily pads look like that. They have that, almost looks like a Pac Man, don't you think? So here's my lily pad. Now I've got to get my frog on the lily pad. Now for this, you do need a stapler. If you don't have a stapler, you can just have a frog on a lily pad, kind of flat like that. And maybe you'll think of another way to make it stand up. Actually, I thought of a way just now. If you have scraps of cardboard, you could make up some kind of a bridgey, popping up thing. I think you could. But I'm just going to take a shortcut right now and staple it. You see his legs right on the lily pad? If I have a stapler, so can you see that, Mr. Dobby? If I just staple his front paws first, right to the lily pad, it really doesn't hurt. So I'm going to get that one in there, staple his legs. So his front paws are on there. I don't think frogs have exactly paws. Now I'm going to bend him up a little bit, and I'm going to staple the back legs like that. So you see how he's jumping like that? So there you go. Staple the back leg. Staple this one. Okay, like that. So there is my frog. He is jumping on a lily pad. Now another fun thing you can do because of what do frogs eat? They eat flies and bugs. If you've got some from your recycling, if you can get some of these plastic things, they make very fun insects. And you can have a lot of fun inventing insects. In fact, that's another whole project because you know an insect is a different kind of an animal. Maybe we'll do a whole insect thing. Who knows? Anyway, I put my insect over there. Whoops. He's jumping already. So there is my amphibian, the frog. And I just hope you have a lot of fun making your amphibian. He can be a friend to your reptile. Actually, no, because sometimes reptiles and amphibians